So I noticed when Laravel 8 dropped and it was using Inertia and Jetstream and Tailwind that a lot of people were disappointed that they weren't able to use Bootstrap the way that they had previously been able to before. So I decided to test a few things out and see if I could bring in Bootstrap to work with all of those different uh, components sort of and uh, to get it working. And I did, and I managed to find some apps to help do that. So that'll be part of this series. And it's okay. It, it, it managed to work out okay. As you can see here, uh, you have a whole, this is the whole theme. This is the dark theme. And you can move the sidebar across. I didn't change anything in this page. I just wanted to get the uh, charts and all of the other different little things that Bootstrap uses to get this to work. So all of this is, um, it's the same, but it had to be customized a certain way in order for uh, for us to be able to get it to work correctly and properly in Vue.js or in Inertia. So all of the icons are the same. Some things we're going to be installing and some things we're just going to be using the CDN for, or at least I am because I, I don't really see a a need to pull everything in and bootstrap as you know can be a really cumbersome package to pull in plus the admin lte theme those are all a lot of things to pull in but i'm going to show you how to do it and how i did it and then you can take it and use it however you want okay so this for us is our dashboard page if we click on tables here we have uh, four different pages that we're using to customize so we can create permissions Okay, and we're going to have guidelines set up for how to create these permissions and different roles are going to be able to and some aren't even going to be able to see this page. So we'll, we'll handle all of that on the back end. We're going to be using Spady permissions, uh, Spady's Laravel permissions in order to get this working so we don't have to write it ourselves. So we can create, let's say, a permission and then we have a notification up here, all, all, per, all, permission, all permissions must start with create, read, update, delete. And as you can see, that's what it looks like here. So we'll say, I don't know, create new admin. And then we'll have a description. Okay. So we'll say create new admin. And then we're going to click create. Okay. And we're also using Sweet Alert, new permission created. And now here's our new permission that we just created. Then we can also edit it and change it up so we'll say updated edit okay again with our spady permission up here um, then we also have roles which we can do the same exact thing so we can create different roles and then we can display each roles permission um, the date it was created we can edit and delete it let's go ahead and create one uh, we are using a um, a separate thing for this uh, this permission slot right here, so we can pick multiple admins on it. Okay, and then we can say role name is new role name. Create. Okay, sweet alert. And then we also have pagination down here, which was a bit tricky to set up, but I found a way of doing it, so we have it working. Okay, so new role name is the one we just made. We have our list of permissions that we just created, the create date, and then we can also delete. Are you sure? Yes, delete it. Role has been deleted. Fantastic. And then it'll update immediately. Uh, we also have it set up for users. Okay, so we can create users, and we can do the same thing that we did with the others. And then we also have admins. Now, Admins is set up so that you can't delete an admin. You can change an admin to a user and then delete them, but you won't be able to just outright delete an admin. Okay, so let's say we go to developer, we edit, can't edit the name. Okay, say admin, update. Okay, and admin has been updated. The new role is admin, and the name is still developer. Fantastic. Then we also have a link back to the site, which will take us back to the main dashboard um, dashboard route. Okay. Uh, the other thing we have is the logout function. So you can log out from this page, and it'll take you right back to the main landing page 
we're not touching any of the front end stuff. We're just going to be using this, this uh, same setup to build the admin page. Okay, so that'll be it for me. The next episode, we are going to work on project setup. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.